tragedy struck on Sunday afternoon in Maypen Village off mile 22 on the Philip Goldson Highway. Sometime around 3.30 p.m., eight-year-old Adriana Moody was snatched by a crocodile as she swam with her cousins in the river that traverses the small village. It's an area where Maypen residents swim daily, and it's the first time that a crocodile has attacked a resident. The incident happened in the blink of an eye, says Indira Rayburn, who was supervising the children at the time of the tragedy. Me and my baby and my three nieces were swimming. We were right in the shore swimming. But no, I didn't see nobody, they didn't see the crocodile when it came and it snatches her by the feet and take her away under the water. We got reports out of Maypen that a uh, parent was swimming with her child Three other uh, children in the Maypen River, when she observed her child, Adriana Moody, eight years of age, uh, went under. And when she submerged, she was in the mouth of a crocodile. A frightening experience, Rayburn shouted for help. And that's when the miner's mother, Bridget Moody, ran to the bank and jumped into the river in an attempt to save her little girl. My sister-in-law, the mother of the child, saw my cross for the doorway and she followed the alligator with the baby in her in, in mouth. And she whopped at it, so it Maybe I might let, her, let go of the child, but it didn't just sunk right under the water with the child. Right. And after that, we didn't see it again. She immediately got into a canoe and paddled towards the crocodile where she attempted to hit the crocodile in the head in an attempt to have the crocodile free the child, but the crocodile disappeared after that. Just before 10 a.m. this morning, the body of Adriana was retrieved from the river by Coast Guard personnel and the police. It was discovered some two miles from where she was seized by the crocodile on Sunday afternoon. Late yesterday evening, we received a call um, stating that a crocodile had took a young child in the vicinity of, in the area of Mepin. Um but due to the time that we received the call, we were unable to mobilize. Uh, and so we, mo we mobilized first thing this morning. And we came here with the um, police to you know, first scout the area and then go ahead with whatever dive operation that would have been, would have been needed to take place. Um, however, when we got here, we were informed that um, a relative of the child had, saw, had found the crocodile earlier this morning and was able to um, I was able to get the, croc, the the body of the child away from the croc. And you know, so then our job just became to assist whatever with whatever um whatever duties the police would have needed us to help with. This morning we learned that one resident that was downstream saw the crocodile with the child in the mouth and fired shot um, at the crocodile. And that was when the crocodile apparently released the, the child and the child was discovered downstream. News 5 understands that several crocodiles have since been shot at and possibly killed. While it is illegal to kill the wild reptiles, what's the solution to prevent further attacks in rural Belize? I do believe that there will be crocodile hunters in, in that area. I think, it, I think the time has come for us to start making belts and, and create jobs for young people, uh, belt and shoes and what have you from crocodiles. But you know it's illegal, you can't just kill a crocodile. I know it is, but I'm saying the time has come. We have too much crocodiles in our waterways at this, at this juncture. Okay, First, now, uh, has, uh, have, has the, the killing of this crocodile been authorized? Because really, if you kill a crocodile randomly, it's not legal. Like I said, I am not aware if the, uh, any attempt is being made to, to kill a crocodile. But what I can say is the fact that even in our sea along the coast in Buttonwood Bay, in, in, in the riverways, there are too many crocodiles and we need to implement some kind of seasonal hunting for crocodiles. In this situation that we can't kill them, no, we would like the government or Arabon who control this to come up with certain solution that can bring these animals apart or keep them away from human where some solution they got to came up with. Dwayne Moody for News 5.